If you're gonna start any type of anime, that's how you do it. It's been over a hundred episodes of Boruto, and we still haven't gotten anywhere near the events of the first episode. The bullshit excuses of you guys are being impatient can no longer be used anymore, since 100 episodes of nothing goes beyond any scale of patience. So in case you still have hope for Boruto, here are the 10 reasons that ruined it. Naruto seemingly died! I'm like, yo! 10 out of 10. Number 1. Ruined Momentum. The first episode was hype as fuck, as it showed you a flash forward to a time when Konoha is destroyed and Naruto is apparently dead. Then it flashes back to a time when nothing of significance happens and stays there, thus killing the momentum. The writer obviously did this because he knew people won't be interested in Slice of Nothing Happens and wanted to somehow keep them around by promising bullshit about the future. The result was disappointing to everyone since nobody can stick around for over a hundred episodes of nothing just to get to the good stuff. He will obviously skip everything, so there was no point in this gimmick besides fooling people with hype. We're going to be sticking with the school setting from now on, but you also gotta make things interesting. Number 2. Slice of Nothing As I said earlier, the momentum was lost because the episodes are essentially fillers. But they also didn't bother to make them related to what we see in the flash forward, so we can at least consider them as an uneventful build-up. They are completely skippable, since you won't miss a thing if you don't watch them. The writer didn't give a shit about creating a plot that rewards the viewer for sticking around for over a hundred episodes of boring daily activities. He just threw in a bait during the first episode and assumed everyone will be hooked indefinitely with nothing to keep them holding on. I'm really looking forward to seeing where this all goes. Number 3. Boring Fights the show is not only about daily activities, it has villains and fights every 10 episodes or so, but none of them are interesting since they don't pose any actual threat. With Naruto and Sasuke around, it feels like the bad guys can be defeated whenever those two feel like it. Also, the animation is usually very lazy and doesn't allow the fights to be exciting. As a result, the action ends up being as boring as daily activities. I like seeing the older characters, it gives a nice dynamic. Number 4. Boring Side Characters An excuse many were using for these Slice of Nothing episodes is how they are needed for making us like the characters, so we will eventually feel sad when they die once the flash forward happens. Although a legit reason, outside the main three, very few of them manage to be likable. Hundreds of episodes just for somewhat liking three minor background characters are just not worth it. It's something exciting. Number 5. Lack of creativity. A large part for why the side characters and the episodes in general are boring has to do with how they have no creativity. The new generation is mostly cloned from the previous generation, and most episodes are just rehashing ideas from Naruto with none of the tension or the plot continuity to make them worthwhile. And since the older generation is still present, it makes you wonder why couldn't they make the fillers be about those guys people actually care about, and instead focus on their clones which have done nothing and have been through nothing to make you give a damn. That was something that was really interesting. Number 6. No sense of loss. This is mostly the effect of having slice of nothing, but not necessarily. Many school romances and social dramas have a sense of loss despite being slice of nothing. Someone dies from an incurable disease, a couple splits up, a friend moves away to a different country. There are a hundred ways to show something getting lost forever. There is no such thing in Boruto. Nothing changes in the everyday activities, and not even stuff like death and injury means something, because nothing ever gets lost. My gosh. My gosh, my gosh, my gosh. Number 7. Lack of consequence. A side effect of the previous reason. Everything quickly goes back to the status quo and makes whatever happened to feel meaningless. This counts even for the only episodes that can be considered canon, the ones that adapt the first Boruto movie. They are the only ones with tension, good action and something to care about. Unfortunately, even those suffer from a lack of consequence. It feels like nothing changed once the crisis was over and everyone went back to doing slice of nothing. Like there never was an alien attack with more to come soon afterwards. The biggest offender is Boruto himself, who despite cheating in the tuning exam and getting exposed in front of everyone by his own father, gets away with it and carries on like nothing of importance had happened. 
Although shonen protagonists been forgiven by the greatest one in their society is a common occurrence, it didn't lead it to something worthwhile. They just forgot about it instead of using it as the Kickstarter for a great adventure. Great way to stop Boruto. Number 8. Boruto's Behavior Following the tradition of newer shonen, the protagonist is a spoiled brat with no actual problems in his life, who hates his father despite him doing his best to love him and to maintain world peace. He is a shallow piece of shit with first world problems, who keeps nagging despite being highly privileged and overpowered thanks to the genes of his father. To be frank, this aspect is not used much, and to the most part, Boruto behaves like a generic kid who just wants to have fun. His only defining trait as a character hardly shows in most episodes, and even in those few that does, it comes off as a silly tantrum. It was an incredible way to start off and really grab people's attention. Number 9. No Defining Features In theory, Boruto no longer acts spoiled after the movie adaptation, because he saw the importance of his father. But that also means he lost the only feature he had as a main character. He is now completely empty of defining features, there is nothing to make him memorable, and yet he is the main character of the show. There you go, Boruto. And number 10. Unnecessary Sequel There was no point in making Boruto. Naruto ended in a fine way, and this sequel doesn't do something that makes it worth sticking around. It doesn't develop any of the themes, since it's just rehashing the same stuff without going somewhere with them, and it's mostly fillers that go nowhere. It even ruins whatever people liked in Naruto, by making everything he achieved after decades of constant struggle to be completely destroyed just because we need a sequel. It was clearly made to sell based on nostalgia, and Kishimoto didn't give a shit about it being needed or how it ruined the image of Naruto. And now you know why Boruto failed so hard, by spelling fail with a P and an H. <laughs> I can't wait.